Hey guys, this is uh, incredible. So here I'm going to use large language model with Langchain to do web scraping. And the model that I'm going to use here is Anthropic APIs, which has a 100,000 context window. So you don't even need a vector DB in this particular case. And of course, I'm going to the code that you are seeing right here that integrates the, the, the Langchain modules with Anthropic API. So let's go through the code quickly. Uh, at the very top, I'm just importing all the regular modules and uh, the main module here is Chat Anthropic, which will connect your code with the uh, Anthropic API. And of course, if you want to use other language model, for example, OpenAI, you need to uh, import your OpenAI related modules, for example, Chat OpenAI and OpenAI. And then uh, I am using uh, importing this Playwright browser toolkit. We'll talk about that in a second, but this is just to browse the relevant browser uh, once you give the URL to Langchain. And if you, uh, because you are using Anthropic API, you also need the API key. And so uh, you need to define a separate file called .env. There you will have your Anthropic API key and that API key will be connected to this code by using your .env module. It's again, very standard code. You will see this particular two lines that is uh, from .env import load.env and then executing the load.env method these two lines in pretty much every uh, code that implements the connection between Langchain and some uh, API based large language models. And then in the next line right here, I'm invoking the chat anthropic API module from Langchain passing the model as Claude one, you can pass other models. So for example, just a couple of days back, uh, the Anthropic, uh, Anthropic organization has released their version two. So you can use Claude two as well. Temperature, I'm keeping it at zero because uh, I just want accurate specific result from the from Anthropic AI for this particular job, which is to get the links from a particular web page. So I do not want any creativity and that's why I'm putting temperature as zero and uh, max tokens to sample 2000. And remember to use this line, you need to have Anthropic SDK package installed. All right, now proceed in the next method, the uh, main method, uh, that's where I'm doing, I'm actually defining my agent and also bringing in, in the first line, this create sync playwright browser. We have already imported this at the very top here from Langchain, uh, langchain.tools.playwrightutils. And uh, this is actually coming from the Playwright uh, browser toolkit of Langchain. And if you don't know, this is for uh, this tool toolkit is used to interact with the browser, while other tools like the request tools are fine for static sites. Browser toolkits let you let your agent navigate the web and interact with dynamically rendered sites. So. And this kind of things like web scraping and some dynamic page uh, navigation, all this uh, is perfect for this Playwright browser tool. And uh, then you have to define your toolkit, uh, Playwright browser toolkit dot from browser, sync browser and sync browser. This is a variable that we defined here. And these two lines are very uh, standard. You just go to the Langchain's Playwright browser toolkits documentation and you will see them uh, exactly these two lines defined there as well. And of course, uh, here I'm using sync browser, but you can also use async browser and then uh, you get your tools. So my tools are toolkit dot get tools and then define your agent and initialize your agent actually. So here I am uh, to my agent. I'm passing all the tools from this Playwright browser toolkit and my agent is using a structured tool, which is structured chat zero uh, st a structured chat zero shot react description. So what is structured tool? A structured tool represents an action an agent can take. It wraps any function you provide to let an agent easily interface with it. A structured tool object is defined by its name, description, arg schema and uh, another parameter called run and a run functions. So uh, name is just a label telling the agent which tool to pick. For example, a tool named get current weather tells the agent that it's for finding the current weather. And arg schema, this, uh, uh, this, is, this is what that communicates the interface of the tool for the agent. It typically draws from the wrapped function signature and permits additional validation logic on tool inputs. 
so um, uh, the, about this particular uh, structure tool here the, so this structure tool chat agent is capable of using multi input tools that's the speciality of this one uh, for example older agents are configured to specify an action input as a single string but this agent that is uh, this one i'm talking about can use the provided tools org schema to populate the action input and with that you are pretty much done you just now you already have your agent chain uh, initialized and defined you only have to run it so in the next line that's what i'm doing agent chain dot run and this is my prompt so for the prompt i'm uh, passing uh, i'm telling it to get all the links from this uh, web page uh, of wikipedia and only return links starting with https that is i do not want any link which is unsecured links and also because um, this part that is uh, up to wikipedia.org this is like a common thing so i'm telling it to omit this portion and then uh, when, when you run this print uh, result it will give you a whole list of all the links from this page uh, in a second and it's pretty large page so this was just a very simple example of uh, using uh, uh, langchain for web scraping but uh, because we are using these anthropic chat anthropic uh, model here which is uh, the speciality of which is it's a hundred thousand context window so you can do pretty complex stuff uh, with this kind of uh, only few lines of code because you do not need any vector db for uh, simple stuff like this hundred thousand uh, context window means almost 75,000 words. That's a huge number of words to do your stuff.